Welcome to Unruly 3, father of three unruly kids. I'm not ruly. So I scored this piece of wood. I was walking through Home Depot and I saw this in their cull lumber. So instead of doing the purple paint, they do these marks on it now. But I think it was just because this at the end. But ended up being 70% off, so I couldn't pass it up. So um, I call this one the little house behind the little house on the prairie. So when I was a kid, we had a radio antenna outside, and we only got three channels out in the country. And um, But before school, every day before, before the bus came, we would sit and watch Little House on the Prairie. So I am just getting all the pieces together, trying to get a rough idea what the shape is going to be. A lot of times, like I said, I go into this without having any plans. So I look at some pictures um, and then just kind of put it together and see what I think. So I have all the angles here and I thought, well, that looks close enough to an outhouse. So let's start moving forward a little bit. So I do want to have a door on the front. I'm not going to have the door open up, but I do want to have a door that makes it actually look like there's an actual door there. So I did take this over to the bandsaw and cut out where the door is going to go on the front. All right, then after I got that first cut, I could just flip it over and get the same cut that's the same distance from the edge here. And then I just have to cut out the door. I have a pretty thick blade on my bandsaw, so it doesn't do super tight turns. So I kind of have to jockey my way down to where the turn is going to be. And I have where my door is. All right, so then I did cut out a door and I just wanted to router the edge to make it look like it wasn't perfectly flat. So I went around, routered the edge really quick, just giving it a quick little 45. All right, so here I'm just trying to figure out where I'm gonna put the hole for the, the birds to get in. So I use my center punch. I'm gonna use my drill press to go ahead and put the hole in. So what I tried to do is go almost all the way through so you could just see the, the very tip of the Forstner bit poking through on the other side, then it doesn't tear out quite so bad. And then you finish your, your hole on that side. And then I just kind of routed through around the, the top, just to round it off a little bit. I don't know if that's good or bad for the birds, but... So some facts about outhouses that I was kind of looking up trying to figure out why do they have half moons or any kind of stars or anything on them and a lot of people believe that the um the half moons I think were for um female and then the stars were males but I'm not sure and then some people dis disprove that and say no it has nothing to do with it some people think the stars were, the shape was just there to let light in at night or so that you could reach up and grab the door to close it. But nobody really knows exactly where the shapes come from. Might just be only for decorative. So I went ahead and I made a half moon shape on this one. And I used my, um, my scroll saw here. This was our, this was my wife's first year anniversary present. She didn't really like it too much, but um, this is what I got her. So I, I, I don't know if she liked it or not. She said she didn't, but we still have it. I went ahead and glued this on. I tried not to use too many nails. I used a, for the front, I went ahead and did pocket screws. Then I said, I'll just put it like this. My son is actually in the back. He's making... He's talking about Pokemon, showing me how they battle. So he's talking all the way through this. In a little bit, you'll see how he does some of the moves. He says, "This, what's this guy? And he shows me some of their animations, I guess, from Pokemon Go. And then, so like this guy in the back, you can see he's doing some kind of animation. This is what this guy does. 
hey, you want to see this guy? And then he does some other animation for the Pokemon. I don't know what the, what he was doing, but <laughs> I thought it was funny when I watched the video. <laughs> So here I'm just fit, fitting on fitting the roof on. And then um, so now I decided to put a tin roof on the top. So I have this old metal, and what I did actually, I took this old metal, it's rusty on the bottom, super rusty. It has this cool rust on the top. And what I did is I took it up onto the road and I drove over it a few times with my pickup to make sure it was nice and flat, because otherwise the ridges would look too awkward on it. So did a little measuring. I made sure to wear some protective gear for my legs to make sure that they didn't get hurt or anything. And then I'm just gonna put this onto the top. Oh, actually I'm gonna paint this first. So I tried to make it look like a distressed wood so my idea here was to put this stain on and then wipe it off right away. See if it kind of looked distressed. Kind of did the job. So um, I'm gonna paint it on really fast. And then wipe it off with the rag. So I think it kind of did what I thought it was gonna do. Not, not perfect, but still looks okay. I think I had to get a new rig for the top. And then I put the tin up on the top. So I had a hole on here and I thought I'll just use that hole, but it didn't quite want to catch. I'd take it out and then just pound it down with my son's hammer. Then it caught. Put some of these self-tapping screws in to hold the tin roof on. And then just to make sure that everybody thought that knew that the door was actually a door, I'm gonna put some hinges on. I have these little hinges sitting in my drawer box in my little collector box here. So apparently on um Alaska, the last frontier, they say that they use old gloves for the hinges, the leather from the gloves. So I was gonna do that, but then I thought, nah, I'll just go ahead and put on these um, old hin these little hinges to make it um, look like the door actually opens, but it doesn't. So I don't know what bird is gonna get this. Hopefully, hopefully they like it. So I heard a joke about a birdhouse at a, I mean, an outhouse. A guy said, our lady really wanted a, a nice outhouse, but she wanted one that didn't stink. So she put an advertisement in. She finally got a guy come and say that he could build one. So he built an outhouse for her. The next day, um, she went out and she went to the bathroom and it stunk. So she calls him up, says, hey, can you come out here? Something's wrong with the outhouse. He showed up. What's wrong? She goes, it stinks. And he went in there and he says, ah, well, of course it stinks. You pooped in it. So... Yeah, that's my only outhouse joke I, I had got for you. All right, here's the little house behind the little house on the prairie. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked it, I'd appreciate a like and a subscribe.